In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you how you can take title text, bring it on the screen along with a sound effect so that people pay more attention to the content of the text because of how it shows up on the screen. Please look at this following example and then we'll show you how to create something like this yourself. In this tutorial, I'm going to give you a small bonus. We're going to show you not only this main feature, but we're going to show you how to create everything you just saw on the screen. So I'm going to take an aside for just about 60 seconds and show you a couple other things. We're going to look at how to add a logo on the screen. You simply take your image from your media room, put it on any video track, and then you can make it equal to the duration of your video clip if you wish. And then I'm going to take a corner and resize it. And then I will move it to where I want on my screen. I also want to have some background music playing during this clip. So I'm going to go to the media room again and click on background music. I like doing a search. I'm going to click in here and the background music I've picked already starts with the word ticket. It remembers your selections when you've searched. So I'll simply click on ticket. And here is my audio track. It's background home. Click there. Now, since my playhead's at the end of my clip, that's where I want my music to stop. So I just highlight that. Do Control T to split the clip. Press Enter. And then I just deleted the part that I don't need. So I have the audio track and the logo. Now let's look on the titles. That's what we're focusing on in this tutorial. I want to put a background on the screen so that the titles appear on this rough hewn lumber. So I need the lumber. I'm going to go to my media room again. I'm on my media. I have a, an image I'm going to use. I'll take and drag it down. I'll start it at one frame in 15 seconds. And I don't want it on the screen for the entire duration of the clip, but most of it. So I'll just drag it, and make it this long. It's too big, so we'll resize it. And then what I want to do is reposition it right about there. Now I need three of these. So all I need to do is with my graphic image clicked on, I'll press the home key, moves the playhead to the beginning. And then we're going to take a couple more tracks and we're going to add some more Do the control C command, move down to another video track, do control V. Move down to yet another video track to control V. Now they're all on top of each other. So I'm going to take the third one and drag it down. You notice it will align. I'll click on the second one, drag that one down. And now I have all three. So now we're going to put our title on each of these. I'm going to put the title for each of them on one track rather than three separate titles. So to do that, I go to my title room. I have to make sure I'm on a lower track in the default stacking order. I'll take my default title and I'll have it start two seconds into my project. And we'll make it last during the duration of our images. And let's add the title. So I want to do this with three different titles. So I click on it, click Edit, and choose Advanced. First thing I need to do is take my title and reposition it. So I'm going to move it up here. And then of course I'm going to change the content of it. I will type it in and pause the video. And then I also want to take this text and change the font. And let's change the font size. 20 is a little big for this purpose. Let's change it to 16. I'll reposition it again. I'm going to add a shadow. I'll click on shadow. Let's change the distance down to maybe a 1.5. Press enter. That looks good. Now the nice thing about doing this is it remembers all these characteristics of this title. So if I want a second title, I click on the T in the upper left corner. 
above my preview screen. It will default to the center of the screen. I'll type in title number two and pause the video. Now I'm going to reposition my second title. We'll do it again for the third one. And now we have our three titles. Now we want to animate them. So what I'm going to do is give myself some more room in my title area here. And I want to add an animation. So I'll start with the first one. We'll click on the Animation tab and click on the In Animation. The animation I want to use in this particular case is called Slide Left. I happen to know it's down here on the right. I'll click on this and it will show it on the screen. It slid it in. Let's take the next one, highlight that, and I'll click on Slide Left again. And it did the second. Let's do the third one again. Slide left. Okay, now we want them to come in separately. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my first title. Let's move it in a second. And let's take the second title and move it in two seconds. Uh, let's move it in three. And the third one we're going to move in five. Now at each of these, with the playhead at the beginning, I want to right click and I want to add a timeline marker. You'll see why later. I don't have to name it. I'll click OK. And I'll do the same with this one. Right click and add a timeline marker. And we'll go back to the first one. Right click and add a timeline marker. Now the other thing I want to do is I want these to come in quickly. So I want the time from the beginning of the title to the full animation, which is this darker gray area, to be no longer than 10 frames. So I'm start at 1, I'll go to 110. I'll click on the second one and we'll go to 310. And the third one, we're going to go to 510 and click on OK. Now if we play this segment, we're going to see the bars appear and then the titles. So far so good. Now we have to add the sound effects. So I'm going to move back into my media room and I'm going to go to sound effects. The one I want is starts with the word whoosh and that is in my search. Again it remembers your search criteria. I'll simply click on that and I want the transition whoosh. We'll take and we'll drag this down. Now I need to edit it. So with it highlighted I'll click on edit and I'll choose Trim. And so what I want to do is I want to trim this. We're going to tighten up here. I just want the big sound. And I'll do my mark in over here. And we'll go about this far out. And we'll do a mark out. So only the area in the blacker gray area is what I'm using. I'll click on Trim. What that will do is it will move it. So I'm going to move it against the first timeline marker. That's my first whoosh. So what I want to do is copy it, move to another track and paste it with control V. And now I'm going to move that to the second timeline marker. And what I'm going to do is take that on another track and do control V as well. And we're going to take this and I'll make it bigger so it's easier to drag and put it at the beginning of the third timeline marker. And then when I play my project, it should come in, play and see what happens. So we've done something to bring in the titles on the background that we selected and have the titles come in with a sound effect that draws attention to them in an additional way.